Hi folks, uh, this is an Astra G 1.8 convertible. Sharon's uh, windscreen washers isn't working. We can't even hear the motor running, so it's either gonna be a supply problem or it's gonna be one of these little things. Seeing as I've got a spare one, I'm gonna take it out, the old one, and put this in and just see if it works. See you in a minute. Right, now I've been online, I haven't got a manual for this car, but I had a little look online and apparently they say that if you go by the manual, you've got to take the the, the, dry, the near side driver's wheel off, you've got to take the inner arch liner out to get to the um, pump, which lives actually down on just under the bumper here. And some people have even levered the bumper off this side as well. Well, I'm not gonna go through all that procedure. All I've done is I've started the car up, turned the steering wheel completely to the right, and I'm hoping that um, I'm gonna be able to gain access to the pump, which literally just lives under here. Now there is a screw here, which normally is a T screw, T something, I can't remember what size it is, but I've actually taken that one out at the moment. But there is a funny little screw that lives right down the bottom here. Literally just in here, you can't see it, but it's up there. Because I've got this Ermisha skirt on, I can't get a screwdriver on it because the only way I could do it is to drill a hole through the Ermisha skirt and poke a screwdriver right the way through, but I'm not gonna do that. But I have got this little, 90 degrees screwdriver bit here is a Phillips screw apparently so I'm going to try and undo it with this and it's a bit hard for me to show you this so you'll have to sort of bear with me because I think I need two hands on this so I'll come back to you if I can undo it with this little thing all right okay there we go and that's not a Phillips screw as I thought it was that's a little allen key but I managed to get it obviously not with that I come in the side with some pliers like that and get me pliers closed onto the head of the nut and just sort of turned it sideways and then I was able to get my hand in there and get it out so now that should have freed up this inner liner which it does and I'm hoping there it is that's the washer bottle right it's gonna be a bit tricky for you to see but uh, for one there's a plug off here look I don't know why that's off right there we go I don't know whether that's the plug that's supposed to go on the motor. It don't look like it. It looks like there's still a plug on the motor. So I'm going to pull the motor out now. I don't know what that that's actually for. Might be for some modification for a different car. Right, let me get my hand in there, pull the motor out, and then uh, we'll have a look. Right, I've just pulled the motor forward. No, there is a plug on there. I can see it. And I think we've just got to pull this bung out of the top of the uh, water bottle. Well, I know it's difficult for you to see, but... Uh, I can see why they say take the complete liner out. But it is doable. There it is. Hold on. Right, okay, there's the motor there, look. So I've got that clip to take off. That should pull the connector off, I think. There we go. That's that off. Now I could put a meter across them, get a shout to push the uh, washer bottle motor and check whether I've got a live and a neutral there. And the only other thing connecting it is a rubber hose. Let's get that other cable out of the way. See that little rubber hose connecting there? It's just a matter of pulling that off. So I'm gonna do that. All that does is push into a grommet in the washer bottle. There we go, look pull that rubber off that's quite a tight fit on there there we go right that's off there so that's the old one that's the replacement one now what I could do if you haven't got a, a Sharon available yeah that's gone straight back in look I'm just gonna turn the ignition on give that a press and see if I can hear this buzzing if not then I'll have to check the feed obviously so I'll just push that connector back on can only go on one way. So right, let's push that on there. Now let's try the washer. Right, let's get in. Right. Turn the ignition on. Yeah, I can hear it. Right, that's working now. So, I'm just gonna lift the bonnet up because only a little bit of water's come out there. 
And I do believe that this washer bottle was absolutely full, which it is. There we go. Look at that, look. See the level there, look. So that's totally full. Now that should have water coming out now, or it should be emptying. So I believe there is a blockage on that. So I've got to try and clear the blockage somehow. And I know you're not going to be able to see that in there, but I'm going to have to stick something in where the that plugs into because I believe there's be a load of crap in the bottom of the bottle. All that should be flooded out of water now where all that water should have come out. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back to you in a second. All right, okay, let's get back in here. And let's give this a little go. Right, well as you can see we've got no water flow so there must be some crap in the bottom of that. What I'm going to do, rather than me take the whole bottle out, I'm going to put a hose in and give it a good blast with a hose and hopefully that will just agitate it all and clear it out. So that's the other way I'm going to do it. Otherwise I will have to take the inner line out and all that and get the bottle out. So it's the lesser of two evils, that's what I'm going to try. Right, this isn't ideal but... Uh, it's either that or strip the whole thing down. Uh, could do with a big rod to go down there. Let's try and put something down there. Of course you can't shove anything down there, can you? Because it's curved. <laughs> there you go, so gas in the bolt admission. No, nope, that's not worked. I'm gonna have to try and pull that motor out again. Lucky enough, it's pretty simple to do. You just lean it backwards and lift. There you go, it's back out again. It comes out nice and easy, actually, so that's it. I don't want to take the big inner liner out and the wheel off and all that, because we've got to go out shortly, you see. I know there is a grommet in the bottom of that tank. I wonder if I can take that grommet out. You're doing it by feel, you see. Maybe if I can take that grommet out. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that crap in there, look. That pump, you see, sits in this grommet. That's pouring out now, like that, look. And that was totally blocked up at the bottom there. There you go. Let's wash it out. In actual fact, that's a filter. I've only just noticed that's an actual filter. So there you go, if you've got no, um, flow but you can hear your pump running it's probably this little filter that's blocked up that's now clear so that little rubber bung isn't just a rubber bung it is a filter as well right let me put that bung back in and it pushes in nice and easy as well so there you go let's get that pump back in the bung which pushes in nicely there we go, and clips in nicely. Right, let's try that. There we go. Shut that door. Right, ignition on. Oh, look at that. Oh, a shot. They need adjusting, but they're back working again. Look at that. Superb. So the pump was gone, but that might have gone due to people trying to use it and use it on a dry pump so right that's that sorted happy days and we didn't have to take the wing off we didn't have to take the inner line in, not the wing we didn't have to take the bumper off we didn't have to take the wheel off and we didn't have to take the uh, inner line in out as well right okay so I'll just fill that washer bottle up just with a bit of normal wool so I should have screen wash in here really that might help clean the bottle as well if I had screen wash in there. So I mean ideally, you want to clean the bottle out because there's, I don't know how much sediment's in the bottom there, but we're in a bit of a time deadline at the moment. We're going out, so I've literally come out here to just to give it a good go sort of thing, and I've managed to do it. I want to shut the bonnet down. Or do I need it up? No, I can do it with it down, can I? Can I get to the jet washers? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I can get to the jets. I just need to go and get a pin. Let me shut that down. 
So what we basically got is two little jets on one side and obviously two little jets up there. So all I'm gonna do is to put a needle in the jet and then you can move them up and down to get them shooting in the right place. So you've only got to move them literally a tiny little bit for them to um, get in the right area. So I've just moved them a little bit there. Right, so turn the ignition on, but don't start it, obviously. And pull your lever towards you. Bit higher. Little fraction higher, wait there. Turn the ignition off. I think I got them in the right place, but they just want to be a tad higher. Is that alright? Right, so that's a little quick fix one for us. I think it's wise to take that bottle out. I haven't got time to do that today, but uh, I thought I'd just show you that. At least you can see that you can take the, um, the actual pump out itself and change the pump uh, if you have got a faulty pump. I will take that bottle out, which means taking the wheel off, taking the inner liner out and getting the bottle out properly and maybe even loosen the bumper off this side just to clean that bottle out correctly because that filter was totally blocked up. Anyway, just a little fast one there for you folks. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.